I look at them, and, and to me, it's a continuation of, of every single one of them. I mean, some of the innovations are small, and some of them are large, but every one of them is a step along the way. And we might not have been as successful in commercializing, for example, our Inco flash furnace. But we sure showed people a whole lot about how to contain some of the SO2 gases after we figured out that they were a problem and how to deal with them and, and how to stop having some of the adverse effects. And I see that one from coast to coast. When, when I was in Brunswick, one of the things they were struggling with, and it was new to them, seemed to be new to everybody, was called thiosalts in the effluent. And these things were misbehaving and causing upsets downstream. They were unexpected. They were working on learning to understand them. Everybody across Canada in the mining industry was working with the National Research Council on this sort of stuff. We worked with uh, a number of them in CanMet and Natural Resources on many of these issues. And I've got a friend who's a lawyer in uh, Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. I met him on some vacations, and, and one of the things that he liked to tease me about was us miserable miners despoiling the environment. Oh, my God, you people, I, I sue you, you know, and, and you're such easy prey. And I just turned around to him and I said, so, Ron, you're old enough. In 1972, were you driving a car? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did it meet today's emission standards? Well, no. Well, that's awfully unreasonable of you. Why weren't you? Why were you despoiling the environment? And people are trying to do the best that they know how. And the companies generally are exactly the same. They're trying to do what they know how to do. If they know it's going to be a huge problem, they're not walking down that road. And a lot of the times it's a matter of, yeah, we we thought we solved that problem, caused another one over here. We're looking for a way to fix that. We're having that issue right now out in Alberta. And my usual message to all the people who want us to not despoil the environment and not mine the oil sands, if you guys would stop burning the energy, nobody would have to mine it. Absolutely. Yeah. But if you want to have the energy, it's got to come from somewhere. Yeah. So, yes, we want people to do it as responsibly as they can, but these are processes that we improve year by year by year as we figure out what works, what works better, what can we do to fix whatever we did wrong the first time. Mm -hmm. Technology keeps changing, we have to keep changing with it. 